Don't want to run AI on your laptop? Well, sorry, Microsoft is going to force you to run AI. The world is going crazy, it seems. You will pay for a product but are forced into a subscription or forced to take AI. Like in this example, Microsoft to force install the Microsoft 360 Copilot app in October. This is from Bleeping Computer. So from next month, Microsoft will begin automatically installing the Microsoft 365 Copilot app on Windows devices outside of the EEA region. And in other words, the European Union that have the Microsoft 365 desktop client apps. So you will get the AI powered Copilot Assistant, whether you want it or not, when you use Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc., as well as other applications like notebooks and AI agents. So Microsoft have advised admins to notify their organizations, help desk teams and users before the app is forcibly installed on their devices to reduce confusion and support requests. So again, it's not gonna be forced in the European economic area, but for the rest of us, we are going to be forced to use this. They say that this app provides a centralized entry point for accessing co-pilot experiences and AI powered capabilities across Microsoft 365. This change simplifies the access to co-pilot and ensures users can easily discover and engage with productivity enhancing features. Whether you want it or not, you're going to get it. It will also be added to the Windows start menu and enabled by default. IT administrators can opt out of it if they want to. Okay, so it just seems to me that Microsoft Windows is becoming spyware. A lot of people joke when I say that and say that it's been spyware for a long time. I think the direction is mad. The amount of telemetry that Microsoft is collecting about you. Recall is just another crazy idea. And here they are forcing you to use Copilot if you just want to create an Excel spreadsheet or write a Word document. I may not want an AI embedded in my Word document or in my Excel spreadsheet but now you're gonna be forced to use it. But what are your thoughts? Do you think this is a good idea? Or are you looking at alternatives or already using alternatives like Linux and OpenOffice or other solutions? It seems mad to me how you will own nothing and you will pay for it and you'll be happy. You won't be in control of what you're using here. I think it's time that more and more of us look at alternatives. Mac OS at the moment isn't being forced to use this by the looks of it. So that may be a better option, but the best option is probably Linux. But what are your thoughts?